Like, I went all high school being made fun of. Like, let me live my life. Okay? I see it. I see it. What do they say? When you hit 40s, you, you have zero Fs left to give. I mean, I still have some Fs. I still have some. Probably more than I should, but... and a welcome to a bare face where we're gonna do a little get ready with me I've got some new products uh, that are going to be a first impression today some that I've been playing around with so before we jump into today's video if you're new here uh, hi hello and welcome my name is Rhonda and over here we're all about embracing the hot mess you never know what you're gonna get over here you could get cooking cleaning unboxings playing and makeup whatever it may be but at the end of the day we keep it cute and put it on me that that's it we're here to have a good time for a long time so let's go ahead and jump on in okay so O for cosmetics sent over their new lotus palette this is a beautiful eyeshadow palette if you saw my pr unboxing at swatch i think it was like this periwinkle shade and i just think that this is just a beautiful palette going into the spring you kind of have some of those neutrals you have some warmth in there and then the little pop of color and i love and appreciate the fact that this pop of color is not the basic blue it's like this beautiful periwinkle like shimmer color just absolutely beautiful then they have these new powders i am super excited to play around with i've actually tried out the powders and i because I, I just couldn't wait i couldn't do a first impression because i was like oh i'm so intrigued so these are the pure glow finishing powders they do come in three different shades they have light medium and deep now to me these remind me of putting that extra like candlelit glow on your face so this is what it looks like up close and it's kind of got like this sheen to it when you look at it but not sheen as in like highlighter you know what i mean so if you go like this it looks very highlightery but and you could use it like that but what i've been doing is i just really lightly like real lightly put a fluffy brush and then just on the outer portions of like where the sun hits me i've been putting the powders there i also wanted to play around with the deep shade and it's the same thing when it comes to this it's got like that sheen to i don't know how else to explain it like articulation we all know but see i feel like you could build these up as a highlighter but i was using this deep shade real lightly uh, and like using it as a bronzer topper you know what i mean it's just it's absolutely gorgeous so we're gonna play around with those they did send over the lotus blossom highlighter which is oh, just mmm mm, she gorgeous absolutely stunning so let me go ahead and swatch that i mean look at that it's like gold meets champagne you know what i mean it's just absolutely beautiful then i did pick up a wild bayek and i don't know if i'm going to use it today but this is a super stay full coverage maybelline uh foundation yeah it's a full coverage powder foundation i have been playing around in that one but i also have been playing around in the flower beauty light illusion perfecting powder i have heard so many wonderful things all to happen to have a style and so i went ahead and snagged it a lot of people compare this to the charlotte tilbury oh uh, where is it let's see if i've got it sitting here this one is in medium okay do we see why it's sitting back there and Rhonda forgot about it if you've been with me for a while you know i have this really bad thing about when things start panning i start panicking and i start shelving so anywho it's actually this is in shade 2 medium and these are darn near identical in color so a lot of people say that this is a dupe for this maybe is a good comparable dupe i have issues not only trust issues but hoarding issues too anyways i also picked up the flower beauty light illusion full coverage concealer these two was like buy one get one 40 percent off or something at ulta i got it in the shade light medium and i feel like she's looking a lot darker than my kentucky tan i got going on 
So anyways, and then I keep seeing this all over TikTok, the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Serum. Um, as far as primer, I am going to just hop off and prime my skin. What I'm going to use is my Yinsa Essential Glow Primer. I love this because it has a nice soft tint to it. And then in my T-zone, I always go in with my Ofra Cosmetics. This is the absolute cover. And I feel like it really helps in my T-zone where I have the most like god awful large pore so i'll be right back all right let's go ahead and try this true match unfortunately this was not it on sale at ulta but i did have like a 20 percent off coupon so it was 19.99 and i had a 20 percent off coupon that i did use and i will be honest with y'all i love the true match line but i have never been able to match myself that well i'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand all right consistency is she running you know what this reminds me of off the bat almost like that um the Sh shiseido foundation i think it's probably the color is reminding me of that shiseido pine because i was like oh this isn't gonna match me and then i started putting it on and i was like oh. but it also like starts to match to you all right let's go ahead and blend it out i'm just gonna use this morphe brush i've got sitting here Okay, she's actually really pretty. <laughs> she like literally I did not I like I really didn't whatever reason I did not think I'm gonna take this under my eye. I like to see if I've got so many thoughts going through my head, y'all. I should jump up and go take my ADHD vitamins. That looks like my flippin' skin. Okay, so it's definitely a tinted coverage, just like it says, but I love a tint, okay, especially when we are moving into summer and spring like when you're really not wearing a ton if you're outside or whatever the hubs and i want to do a garden this year so i don't know where that fits into me putting on foundation if you're here for the rambles you found the right place welcome this is freaking stunning i feel like it's like my skin on like steroids like a good okay that that's a really bad analogy okay like I don't know you all know the grammar here has a lot to be desired you know and it's so funny because my first thought was like oh $20 for drugstore because I had literally picked up this off Amazon the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear which by the way really do enjoy this like a lot and the shades are not the same like, you can't just jump into this true match and get the same shade as you're getting in the infallible whatevs. But I really like it. It's very lightweight. Definitely a fuller coverage than this. Y'all know my love of, of hyaluronic acid. It helps to plump the skin and give that skin a fresh, dewy look. Um, a plump look. Hyaluronic acid tinted serum. 1% pure hyaluronic acid on here. Uh, it says the skin benefits of hyaluronic acid serum instant radiance with a nude skin effect. Instantly skin feels hydrated. Skin looks healthier over time. This literally looks like my skin that just had a bunch of water dripped on it oh my god okay hold on i just had a package delivered and you know i'd be stuck in fedex so i'll be right back like i'm gonna have to set it because i do be looking like next level shiny shiny like a da -da 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 -da. always forget the words to things if Haley was here she could sing it along she's really good at remembering lyrics me i make up lyrics so this is the Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer from Flower Beauty. And it says anti, what, are, is this my language? Not for sure. It's a weightless formula. It says it's crease proof. Well, let's try. It smells like concealer, Rhonda. It feels obviously like the wrong color, but we're just going to roll with it. Anyways, um... You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the Bare Minerals Serum Concealer that I talked to you all, or used to talk to you all about all the time. Definitely gonna be too dark, it's fine. Blend it, 
I'll probably just add some lighter concealer under my eye. A lot of thoughts going through my head. I'm not even finishing sentences. Well, that pairs nicely. I mean, probably need to get another color. All right, so under my eyes, I just like to use a dry beauty blender, y'all. I know everybody does the wet, but I, I just, I, I don't. I like a little bit fuller coverage. Honestly, though, I like the way it's applying, and this would be a good shade for me in the summertime, so I'm definitely going to keep it and just go pick up a lighter one. So, I mean, you can't win them all when it comes to me trying to shade match myself. It's fine. So, I am going to go in with, woo, I wonder, hold up, hold up. I wonder if I can try and build up a little bit. Look, I'm not a makeup artist, y'all. I'm a makeup enthusiast who likes to play and figure life out. So I'm just going to try and cover this under my eyes to lighten it a little with the foundation. I forgot to tell you all that. <laughs> so, I mean, I'd say it's buildable because I built right over that. Okay, stop what you're doing. Just go ahead and stop what you're doing. If you like a hydrated, moisturized eye look, a uh, face look, skin looking fresh like is she 43 i'm not for sure because she looks so fresh and plump and dewy B by the way i am but y'all um i'm gonna say yes i'm actually gonna say yes off the bat to, to both of the products could i sit here and review it at the end yeah but will i probably forget all my thoughts yes because it's like in my brain 99 of the time i really like this concealer it definitely you can tell gives me a fuller coverage but this foundation to me is next flipping level i am loving how hydrated my skin feels okay so i am gonna do one more thing and be a little extra sin because i do like my under eyes to be a little bit brighter so i'm gonna go with my drug cosmetics um this is in white <laughs> obviously and i am gonna just add a little dab because a dab will do you with this stuff Plus, this is kind of like almost self-setting. Like on my lids, I always set it just because I have creasy lids, like slightly hooded lids. But this is also going to help with your lines and stuff. So brighten it up just a smidgen, but anywho, it's fine. We will survive. So I am going to go in with the Flower Beauty. I have been setting my under eye with this. And what I like to do is pick up any extra like so and I go in the opposite direction when setting under my eye so I'll start like back here work it in like so and I do like a pressing motion I mean am I gonna have lines obviously I'm 43 so I mean we've done past that 20 year old smooth skin I am gonna just set right through here my t-zone oh my lord y'all so the past couple nights I've been sleeping with my windows open because the weather has been so beautiful. <sighs> if you don't know, I am allergic to the world. <laughs> and I do it myself. Like, I know it's going to be rough, but I love waking up and hearing the birds chirping and the cold breeze. I mean, until you have to get out of bed and you're like, oh my god. But, if you hear like the sniffle and other thing, you, should, <laughs> you honestly should be used to it by now come to my channel because your girl's always sniffling over something all right i'm gonna hop off i am gonna go ahead and contour my face um if you are curious as to what i am going to use i use a lot uh so i go in with my chart i don't even know if they sell this anymore i kind of found it back through here and was like oh yeah but it reminded me of my absolute favorite, which is the KKW stick that I picked up on sale at Ulta when they were clearancing it. And so I only save it for special occasions. So I shelved it. So I'm using this. I do go in with my Persona Cosmetics because it's like a sheer bronze. Then I do go in with my She Glam. This is their Golden Sun. This is liquid. It's not even a cream. It's a liquid and I love it. It has kind of a cooler tone than these other products. And then I will also be putting on my She Glam blush. And this is in the shade 103 Devoted. Okay, so once I've got that blended in, now I go in with my She Glam. Y'all, these are so inexpensive so inexpensive and they are gorgeous so you can see it's a little bit cooler so i kind of 
dot it around it, it's n not a necessary step like don't think i'm telling you it's necessary it's not <laughs> um ignore the little baby hairs i've been taking that gerard cosmetics uh oh my god the gerard cosmetics a hair af these little like itty bitty sprouts <laughs> that you see coming in yeah like i don't know if you guys can tell but there's like little itty bitty sprouts sprouts coming out of my head and I'm like oh my gosh like this stuff is really working you take it three times a day you put 10 drops under your tongue you let it sit for 20 seconds three times a day I have been doing it religiously since the day it released and I would say it is working quite well I accidentally did three. Oh well I love that I just do three little dabs over here in the summertime you, you can hit your nose with it too what I do is whatever's left on my brush I hit my nose with it but if you all have picked up the gc love drug cosmetics hair af up and you started using it from the day you received it are you noticing little sprouts on your head because i'm like okay it's not all of these like some of these but there's like itty bitty ones just you see like right here like itty bitty little sprouts coming out of my head and i'm like oh Oh, yes so let me know y'all's results I'm trying to be good about reminding myself to let you all know you know how my journey is going okay so I am gonna go ahead and set with my she glam powder y'all know I fell in love hard with this powder um, I need to go and pick up more because it's quite lovely so I am going to use my Juno & Co sponge. I think this is actually a good comparable dupe because one thing that I remember when I was using the Charlotte Tilbury powder all over my face is my, my oils would come through really quickly, I would feel like. I definitely see that happening with this. So I feel like it's a good touch up. I think it's good under the eyes. It does not crease under my eyes or start to look cakey or anything like that so for blush i do have an ofra cosmetics that came in the mystery box their mystery boxes are amazing i am also going to pull out my favorite ofra blush palette this is in blushful i'm not for sure if it's still available um, but if it is you can definitely shop it and i love this but i love these and when it comes to the ofra palette you can pop out these blushers and put in you know whatever you want like whatever shade blush bronze or whatever that you want i love these things okay so what i do is i go in pretty heavy handed with it and then i go in like so and then i just tap it and then i like to kind of keep it back through here because i do have fuller cheeks and i just stay in an upward motion and then i work it up <laughs> Do you see the little baby hair sprouts like right there? Not this long one, like right there. Okay, I'd say the Harry F is definitely working. Okay, so I'm gonna mix my Ofra Peppermint Highlighter so you can see it's kind of like an icy tone. And I wanna mix it with the new one, the Lotus Blossom. So I wanna mix those two together. I feel like it would be really pretty. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. That's exactly what I envisioned. I'm gonna take my BH Beauty 100. Hi, Cardinal. Ha, and it looked right at me. You know, when they come, when Cardinals come and visit you, it means a loved one is visiting you. My heart's so happy. You know what? Gemini ADHD. I just had a dream the other day about my grandfather. But that was that was a female Cardinal, so maybe it was my grandmother. But my grandfather was in my dream. I don't know what's going on, but I'm just just saying. All right, let me go ahead and mix these together. I'm gonna go a little on the peppermint, a little on the lotus, and then I'm gonna go in. Oh, isn't that so pretty? Let's do a little bit more peppermint. Listen, I don't care how old you are, plain shimmer. Play in a highlighter have a good time like I remember when I first started my channel people would make fun of me because I put it everywhere and love to glisten and, and then I stopped for a while and now I'm like I've got to live my life for me 
not for those on the internet who sit behind a computer and on a keyboard and like to make fun of others. Like I went all high school being made fun of. Like let me live my life. Okay, I see it, I see it. Like don't be, just you do you. If it makes you happy, flip and do it. I feel like for far too long, I lived my life trying to make others happy and it wasn't making me necessarily happy. So we're done with that. <laughs> We are done with that. What do they say when you hit 40s, you, you have zero Fs left to give? I mean, I still have some Fs. I still have some. Probably more than I should, but it's okay. Just calm down. Calm down. I do blend it out a little. Oh, Ofra highlighters. <sighs> they are stunning. Okay, so let's go in. By the way, I did want to let you all know, this foundation does not sit on the face either. It's like in to the skin. So I'm going to go in, that's medium. I don't, I don't feel like medium would work with me right now. So I'm going to go in with light. And what I do is I just take this fluffy brush, it's just from Wet n Wild, and I just bloop, 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 bloop. Just like so. And then up through here is where oh, I like to put it right where the sun hits. So it literally does like this candlelit glow. Take it down your neck, put it on your shoulders. Like, oh, I, my button came undone. <laughs> and look how it just makes your skin this candlelit beautiful glow and then the more you keep buffing it into the skin the more of like this airbrushiness that you get and i want to kind of stick this medium shade right through here i went ham with those highlighters that's okay if you want to calm down your highlighter a little bit let me show you what i do i do kind of want to calm down especially this side i don't know what i was doing was i talking probably talking a lot I'm gonna go with my hourglass veil powder this is not a powder that's going to I feel like mattify whatsoever this is gonna keep that radiant glow going and it's beautiful but it's also a beautiful powder to like finish the face off with and I just go all over and blend everything Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit more of this blush on top. Let's move in to this beautiful Lotus palette. Y'all know I keep my eyes pretty simple. Let's go ahead and start off with this shade right here. I'm going to just go ahead and work it into the crease to set my lids because I do have hooded lids. I'm just going to go in with my Flower Beauty powder and just go ahead and set that Gerard Cosmetics selfless right here. We're going to go ahead and jump into that. I'm going to dab a little bit of this alignment in there. We're going to mix both. Y'all know I'm a huge mixer when it comes to my shadows. I'm kind of doing like that air, not air, that blow, blow out type of look. And I kind of stamp my shadows in and take whatever's left and go under. This uh, Wisdom shade, this Periwinkle, is just my name I have to put that on my lid it's so beautiful just real light like I just want to wash and just blend it out I think I'm gonna go in with this sacred which is also kind of like a satiny color and I'm just gonna like put that a little bit closer to my lash line let's go with the flat shader brush and I'm just gonna real close not all the way over, like halfway. Okay, we're going to stop there. And I am going to go ahead and add, I'll put on some of my Makeup Geek. I love these liners. I'm going to put some of that on. Go ahead and add a little bit of mascara too. I'm just going to use my Wonder Beauty Mile High. I'll be right back. All right, so I am back. On my lips, I have my Dry Cosmetics. This is the Cher Lip Liner. Then I went in with my Collab Don't Go There Lipstick. This is, I don't even know if it's sold anymore, but I feel like this is pretty close to Gerard Cosmetics Buttercup. 
lipstick so definitely if you want this shade just pick it up at Jarred Cosmetics. For gloss, this has been one of my go-to glosses. This is the Ofer, I mean like you can see it's already down to here. The Ofer Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade Truffle. Uh, I did set my face with my She Glam Press Refresh Setting Spray. I think that was all that I did. Okay, let's chat. This foundation has shocked me. I think it is a great foundation. I'm going to continue to use it. One thing that I was thinking, for me, I have normal to dry skin. I know I probably forgot to mention that to y'all. So I honestly feel like even if you have oily skin, what I would do and what I plan to do is mix it with your foundation. I feel like if you mix it with your foundations, even if you have oily skin, just a dab of it, you're gonna get like the skincare benefits. You're gonna get that extra plumping benefit. I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna try and do that. I'm gonna try and mix it with, um, we'll mix it with my Ofer Cosmetics. I love this foundation on its own, but with a little twist of moisturizer, even more moisturizer, that could be stunning. So we're, I, I feel like stunning is the word of the day. Dang on. All right. Sorry if I drove you all nuts. Uh, the concealer. What did I do with that one? I do like the concealer. The shade does not work with me right now. Light to medium. Weird enough. is too dark. So I am going to use this in the summertime. And get a, I'm going to go back and pick up a lighter shade. Because I do like the consistency. It's very lightweight under the eyes. Absolutely beautiful. Even with adding some of my Dry Cosmetics white. Uh, eye primer it still is like absolutely wonderful and that just shows you even with my normal to dry skin these still play friendly underneath my eyes no problem these fun finishing powders from or yeah pure glow finishing powders from Ofra you could go ham on these you could really go ham on these but I think they're beautiful I think they give this beautiful candlelit radiance to the skin I also feel like if you are looking to get into highlighters but in a soft way like you don't want to boom you know with highlighters like I like to do pick up one of these they come in three different shades light medium or dark and you could real lightly start getting in to highlighters you see how like it just is just a really soft glow to the skin I say start off with these if this is something that you are looking to want to try out as highlighters but you're scared of like beaming too fast could you build this up absolutely but if you just go in really light-handed and just start applying it you know where you would put your highlighters and eventually lightly like dust it over your face i think you're going to be really really excited about this powder plus this is something that's going to work out really pretty on your eyelids and i've even dabbed it in the center of my lips too so I like this. I feel like it's a versatile type of powder. It's really pretty, but it is something that you got to be careful if you go heavy handed because you, you, you can be glowing. All right. You're going to be glowing. Uh, the blush. What did I do with the blush? You all know my love of Ofer blushes. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. I think they build up really nicely and they blend out really lovely. And I feel like if you, if you love Ofer blushes, I don't know. I honestly don't know how you could just pick up one. I say go with the palette. <laughs> so that's just me. The Flower Beauty powder. I like this, but I don't I don't see this working well if you have oily skin. Um, but I think it plays really nice underneath the eyes. So anyways, last but not least, we've got the beautiful Lotus Eye Palette from Ofra. Again, code hot mess will save you 20%. I personally think it's a really pretty palette. I'm very much into neutrals. And I definitely like this little pop color periwinkle in the shade Wisdom. It's a beautiful, beautiful palette in my opinion. That's pretty much it, I think, today on I'm trying makeup I'm so happy that you guys are enjoying these little get ready with me playing and makeup and everything 
I will definitely keep them up since you all said last month how much you enjoyed it. So I will try and be good about linking and listing or at least telling you all what I use on my face down in the description box. Don't forget any shopping you're doing, make sure to use your Rakuten. There is a $30 sign up bonus. I'll have my referral link down below. When you sign up and make your qualified purchase of $30 or more, you'll get $30 back. I'll also receive $30, so thank you. I'm not sponsored, um, but it is a way where you can make money and I can make money, and uh, we're both happy with that. Am I right? Don't forget to check me out on my other channel, Hot Miss Mama Vlogs, so plus size curvy girl fashion hauls. I'm on TikTok and Instagram at Hot Miss Mama of Four. Again, check my description box down below for everything, and do y'all see this? Somehow I managed to drop foundation on myself. Awesome. Alright friends, until next time, kisses from Kentucky.